Hi YouTube, this is JJ714. I'm coming back at you. I'm going to um, try to do two final things before I go because Black Girl Rock is coming on BET tonight and I want to see it. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how I do my Real Queens regimen. Now, I do a little different than how I used to do it, which is I used to put the plastic cap on my hair first. But I'm going to go through and show you what I do right quick, and um, then I'll explain why I did what I did. Now, I've already pretty much did what I'm going to do as far as adding, you know, oils or whatever, but I'm going to go through the process. So what I do is I spritz my hair a little bit. Now, I don't always spritz my hair, but because I'm up under wig, probably 12 to 14 hours a day, um, my hair is not moist, so, or let me take it back, my hair is moist, but I just want to add a little more moisture to my hair. Now, okay, I spritz it down. Now, if I was, had not already put my oils on my hair, my next step would be to get whatever oil I'm going to use. And what I will be using for my hair is I use my growth oil portion that includes the Shine Naturals growth oil. So I would take some of this since I got twists in my hair and I would pour them in my hands and I would go through and I would make sure that my hair is done. Now then what I would do is I would get some oil, take it, and I would massage into this area, which is where it's short. Now I do want you to take note, and I'm especially saying this is because the hair rejuvenation tea that I started using, and I've only used it twice, I noticed that I have gotten some more growth in this area. You may not be able to see it, but if you go back to my earlier videos, I was I was bottled. I didn't have any hair here. But I'm getting that, so what I normally do is put whatever, whatever I'm using, the oils, and I would massage this area for a good five. 10 minutes and sometimes I massage my whole hair head but for the most part I concentrate on this area now here goes the good part you're going to laugh but this does work for me so what I do first I start out with one bonnet put it on my head Make sure that everything is covered, including my edges. Now, I, I have to tell you guys, I don't like putting anything on my ears. I don't. So, you're going to see me move those up. Okay? So, I put one bonnet. Then, I put a second bonnet. Then... I put a third bonnet. Then what I do, I take my plastic cap, put it on, take a scarf, and I tie it down. Make sure I get the back up under. Then I take another bonnet and put on top of that.
in. I end up with one more scarf. Told you I love purple. <laughs> and I put it on top. And this is basically how I sleep with my hair. Um, basically seven, six to seven days a week. Now, why did I do it this way instead of putting the plastic cap first? I remember there was a young lady when I started the Real Queens Regiment that um, she was asking, is there any way because she uh, used a I think she was relaxed. She wanted to do it, but she did not want her hair to be soaked. Or she might have been natural and she had her hair pressed out and she was concerned about her hair reverting. Either way, um, Mika, she showed, told her to do it this way because she would still get the moisture. Now, let me back up a little bit. She said to put the bonnet um, first, then put the plastic cap, then tie it down. Because she only really uses maybe a bonnet and a scarf, and then I think she puts a hat when she wants more. But for me, I like to get, make sure I get heat. So that's why I do so many. Now, me by nature, I'm, I'm, I'm warm blooded, but I get very, very cold. And when I do my hair like this, not only does it uh, help keep my temperature in my hair, but it regulates my body temperature. So I stay nice and toasty and warm, and I love it. But when I wake up in the morning, I know I might not have an opportunity to show you, but I will have sweat beads in the cap, even though it is not on my head. But my hair won't be soaking wet like it normally is when I put the cap. The, the plastic cap right on top of my head. So basically extra um, bonnets first keeps my hair. I actually get the heat to my hair so it will do its greenhouse effect but I won't get the dampness on my hair but I will get the dampness as far as the whole process. So I just want to show you that's how I do it now. Now the second thing I want to talk to you about is and before I talk to you about that one product that I forgot to mention um, I've only used this a couple times but I'm going to be using more is the herbal tea rinse by Shy Naturals and I, I love this tea rinse too it smells so good uh, and I keep it in a refrigerator <laughs> because I want it to last longer but how I made my this is called, and as I said, the young lady's name is Bless One on Hair Lissa. She is the one, she went to the dermatologist. She said that the dermatologist swears by this recipe that she gave her. It's called a tea rejuvenate, rejuvenating um, um, hair for dead hair follicle tea. And the ingredients that go in here, and I'm going to show you what I use, is... Rosemary, um, tea, and this is my herb rosemary, peppermint leaf, and I purchased my uh, herbs from, um, this one called, came from Monterey Bay Spice Company. I think they're out of, yeah, they're out of Santa Cruz, California. But the rest of my herbs I got from um, Mountain Rose Herbs. And they are out in, I believe they're in Utah. I believe. I believe they're in Utah. Um, I like this company a lot. It's just that when I buy products from them, I try to buy in bulk. 
or buy quite a few because the shipping can be sort of expensive. But as you can see, this is eight ounces and this is quite a bit. And this is one pound. And I've used it maybe about two or three times. So um, you get quite a bit. Sage. This is uh, eight ounces of sage. And salt. Uh, pimento berry um, and this is eight ounces now I can tell you this right here ooh, it stinks so these are the herbs I use again I'm going to go through again the herbs the rosemary rosemary so you can see rosemary the peppermint leaf The salt pimento berry and sage and coffee and I use my Javati coffee. Yes, it's expensive, but I have purchased got this um, a while back and I my family we really don't my husband and I we really don't drink a lot of coffee so I said oh well I'm gonna use this coffee but you can use any coffee that you want. Um, but these are the herbs, and basically what I did was I um, put them in my coffee pot, and um, you let them sit for an hour. I don't have my little bag things that I put in, but first what I did was I put the coffee in top, because I used the, um, the, my Giraldi coffee um, maker. And I put the coffee on top, and then what I was going to do was I, I have these little mesh bags that I put my other products in, and I tied them up, and I put them inside the coffee pot, so when the coffee came down and everything, it could just seep in there. But then I ended up mixing a little bit of everything in um, the bag, and I... Um, basically let it um, seep and seep for like oh I actually let it seep for more than an hour it's, you're only supposed to let it seep for an hour but I let it seep for a little bit more than an hour and then basically um, this is how I got my tea and um, I put it in these bottles I keep it in the refrigerator but when it's time for me to use it I will warm up some hot water and I will um, or, you know, make some hot water. I said warm up some hot water. But I would put hot water on, bring it to a boil, or water on, bring the water to a boil. And then I'll set this in and let it warm because I don't like it coming out of the refrigerator. It's really, really cold. And I apply it to my hair. Um, now, I have this full like this, but I've used it twice. So this is how much I have in it. And I think what I'm going to do is get a spritz bottle and uh, put it in so I can spritz it on my hair more and uh, that way when I don't want to hop in the shower I don't have to worry about hopping in and trying to you know hold my head a certain way to get it in to my hair but um, her dermatologist swears by this you know that it brings your dead hair follicles to life the reason I really wanted to try it mostly was for my edges but I think if it works for my edges, it'll work for my whole head. And as I said, just from using it, the two times that I've used it, I see my hair is starting to, you know, rejuvenate in there. So um, I'll be using the product, like I said, probably at least a year, but, you know, maybe every two or three months. And then you'll probably see it when I do my videos as well. But... When I get my sew-in, um, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do that because, um, and this, this is the, you know, the up and down about um, natural hair, is that um, for some of us, like myself, my hair is slow growing. It used to grow faster when I was younger, but as you get older, just like, you know, your body changes so my metabolism isn't as fast as it used to so I'm sure other things so my hair doesn't grow as fast as a lot of people hair does and so what I have to do is make sure I get a regimen 
that is going to work for my hair and that I can be consistent with it because I know that as long as I'm consistent and I do everything that I'm supposed to do, I will get the results. So I am looking at um, reaching my, my real goal is to get to mid-back length. But what I'm going to do is I have set another goal as once I've reached the mid-back length is to go to waist length. It's because I want people to realize that it doesn't matter how old you are, that you can start from having no hair at all and you can grow your hair out. The key is consistency, having a great regimen, making sure that you um, eat properly. A lot of people like to say diet. I say lifestyle change or lifestyle the way you're going to live and eat the rest of your life. Um, vitamins, now the vitamins I take, I take, uh, I use Sun Valley or Spring Valley's prenatal vitamins. I take one of those a day. I use the Spring Valley's Biotin. It's a 5,000 MCG, which is 5 M milligrams. I take one of those a day. I take a MSM um, 1,000 uh, milligram a day and I also just started about a week ago taking extra C which is a vitamin C is 500 milligrams um, because in the winter I tend to like to take my vitamin C more because of colds and I'm trying to avoid all of those but those are my vitamins that I'm, doing, I'm taking I try to drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day um, I try to get enough sleep, that I got to work on, and my next goal is to incorporate exercise from back in, and I'm going to do it, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I will do it, because all that's in me, I will get it done, um, and so I figure by the time I get my Christmas break, until school starts again, which will be in January, I think it's after, like the second week around the 12, 13, 14, somewhere in there, I'm going to probably like triple up my exercise as much as I can to try to um, balance out for the times that I might have to go back down to like maybe three days a week versus five to six days a week to exercise. But either way, my goal is to go, you know, take my regimen, take my uh, taking care of my body, my mind, my spirit, um, my soul, take it up to another level because God is not through with me yet and I just believe that there's some things that God is doing in me and through me that he wants people to see that, you know, in regards of what it looks like on the outside, you know, with the recession, with, you know, the job market, whatever. If you have faith, you have a, a sound, strong faith and belief, and my belief, belief, I'm a Christian, I'm a born-again Christian, and if you have a faith system, a belief system, and then you're consistent with whatever it is, there's nothing that you cannot achieve. But the goal is, is to keep focused, have your goals, stay focused, don't get distracted, uh, get rid of negative people, negative situations, negative circumstances. Stick to your own business because, trust me, everybody got enough business that they can take care of their own business instead of trying to worry about what somebody else is or is not doing. But my desire is just to be a blessing, an example, just let people know that regardless of where you are in life, Things can change, but the key is going to be having the right mindset, speaking the right words out of your mouth, and having the right connections. Connections are vital. If you have somebody in your life that is negative, negative, don't have anything good to say, you need to get rid of those people <laughs> because Believe me, all they're going to do is try to keep you down at their level or try to bring you down further so they can feel better about themselves. But when you know who you are and you know most important of who you belong to, like I know that I am the daughter of the Most High God and that I am, you know, His 
he's in love with me and he loves me and you know that is so much joy but not only that God blessed me with a oh such an awesome wonderful husband and I have such an awesome wonderful daughter and I'm meeting awesome and wonderful people every day so that just lets me know that God has a great plan for my life so know that he has a great plan for your life too and then put yourself in right position to find out what that plan and his will is for your life because it's an awesome one so with that, I'm going to say good night. God bless you, because I'm getting ready to go watch Black Girls Rock. Because we do. We truly do rock. Talk to you soon. Peace.